The Lake Champlain Sea Grant is targeting the smallest of plastics to make a big impact. Our Alexandra Sidorova did some digging. Odloche, the Lake Champlain Sea Grant Institute's outreach specialist and research assistant Emily Pridwicki are sifting through the sand looking for plastics the size of a pencil eraser or smaller. It's easy to notice the big plastics, but it's really hard to notice the little microplastics. So um, if we clean up the microplastics, then we can kind of just make a little bit of a difference. The Institute is a collaboration between UVM and SUNY Plattsburgh to research and care for Lake Champlain. Loche and Pridwicki get their hands dirty and shoes wet, digging, looking and poking through the top inch of sand in one square meter spaces. The process is quicker if the sand is dry. Oh gosh, this is so much easier. <laughs> so I much love easier. it. So Microplastics can leach toxic yeah, chemicals so into the earth you. or animals can accidentally eat them. Sometimes they confuse even experts like Loche. This I need to look under the microscope to see if it's a piece of shell or to see if it's plastic. Microplastics have been found in all kinds of living things, but they don't appear out of nowhere. Loche and Pridwicki say it's helpful to pick up full-size plastics, plastic. such as water bottles, before they break down. So the smaller the plastic gets, the harder it is to get rid of them. Besides improving the environment, Loche wants to study the types of microplastics she and Pridwicki find and contribute the data to the Marine Debris Tracker app for citizen science. It's not because we don't see them that they don't have an impact. And uh, often when we don't see things, they are not of a concern. Loche says microplastics are too small to recycle, but at least they'll be in a landfill and not on a public beach. In Plattsburgh, Alexandra Sidrova, Channel 3 News.